This is a tutorial for the use of Graphic Extras fonts in things like WordPad or Illustrator, Photoshop and many other applications. Some applications work better than others with the designs. So I've got a font called Bowties. It's just going to select the WordPad, drop down and all the fonts are here. So GX100 Bowties. I'm going to select that one. I'm just going to quickly resize and then just type as you would A, B, C to bring the characters in. Now the actual designs unfortunately are not really designed for multiple character use in things like WordPad. Mm -hmm. I mean you can just design, type A and then space B. So I'm just going to do that. A space B. So you can actually get the designs separated. Uh, obviously other applications are better than that. Right, I'm just going to stop WordPad. Don't save. I'm just going to go to Photoshop. I've got Photoshop open here. Go and select the Type tool. Click Type tool. And again, the fonts are in this drop down here. And so bow tie has been selected. I'm just going to type bow tie G, letter G. And there's the letter G. Now, click that, you can resize the design, like that, you can rotate it and all those things. One of the best things I think personally is to actually, is to use the layer type convert to shape command, makes it just easier to use, I think so. unless you want to actually change the uh, character via the keyboard a little bit later it's just it's easy to work with I find converting them to shapes so and then you can actually use the define custom shape so you can save the design to your uh, shapes library uh, you can also of course recolor and all those sort of things you can also type multiple characters again using space is one of the easiest quick ways of doing that of course there are many other ways in Photoshop to control type. Right, just going to now clear that. Illustrator. Now in Illustrator I've actually got that type the type tool and type font and all the various fonts are here. I actually go quite often just to the window and bring up the type character palette. That's the easiest way. So you can then see the fonts drop down here. So again, bow tie. And I'm just going to select type P or O M V. Right, I'm just going to type V. And, and I'm also going to type another character now just to. Right. I'm actually going to increase the spacing for this because. 200, say 500, 1000, so you can actually space the characters out a little bit if, if you want to do that. Personally the best way I think is just to type individual characters and then just use the individual characters. Again you can personally, if you're just using the designs, so I'm just going to type U and then object, expand and you've can then convert them to a, a normal path in Illustrator. Anyway, that's basically quick use of the fonts, uh, the graphic extras fonts in a few applications. Obviously many other applications have many ways of, uh, and there is also supplied with the um, font a selection of EPS files so you can actually open them via the file open command or place or whatever. In, again this varies from application to application you can bring those EPS files designs in and they're basically the equivalent of the uh, text designs okay thank you